Yesterday, um, I had Christmas early because, um, stuff with my grandma and one night she cares would know, um, and I checked, afterwards I checked all my, um, emails, my Discord and my Steam as well, and I went through my reviews and I noticed I now have a flag. So, this flag is by a developer and it says that I was abusive and I don't know what's going on here. And so I'm going to check through now. Full disclosure, I checked today and the review, that, sorry, the flag is been, has been removed, but I'm still going to look through this anyway. So um, just before I begin though, I, I have had a similar sort of thing where I want to say a friend of mine, but we've only really talked about the issue. Um, they've had a false flag by a dev before on a review they had for Wilson. <clears throat> I did a video on it. Um, I actually recorded two videos, but I took down the first one because I had my own personal details as well as it didn't have the response by the developer yet by the time that I um had made it and I re-uploaded it with the developer's response included. And <clears throat> um, the review was because... Um, what was it they they failed to um, withhold multiple years worth of uh, Kickstarter promises, so that obviously affected their opinion on the video game overall, and they left a negative review. That one had got like over four hundred upvotes, so they um flagged the review, and they said that the the official response was because someone else had um said something in the comments that they found to be rude which by both parties apparently it did, but, you know, um, ultimately they just deleted the comments and I, I left a message which still hasn't been responded by the dev saying that, um, is that real asking, rather I should say, is that really justice, you know, because you, you're attacking one person for the actions of another, that's, that kind of seems pretty fucked up if you ask me, so, um, I talk about that for no reason whatsoever. This has n this issue has nothing in connection with that issue. But I'm gonna respond. I'm gonna look at this the same way, where I'll start off neutral and I'll look through the Steam rules and guidelines. With which, luckily, this time it tells me. Not only do I not have to assume that it's the dev that reported me, because it straight up tells me. But it also tells me the reason, so I don't have to look through the entire Steam list of rules and guidelines, which isn't actually that extensive now that I look at it. But what a what it counts as abusive content, right? So I'll just so this is the rules and guidelines for Steam. Um, please note that administrator reserves the right to change to legal anything that is abusive or incorrectly. Um, yeah. This applies to reviews, discussions, and so forth, which this is where you'd go to to find out if anything would affect your reviews. Um, let's see. Abuse or encourage abuse of the post-reporting system. You know, if that might be something more affecting the developer here. Um, not not really me, because I was, I, I, I don't think I've ever reported anyone on Steam, honestly. Um, so in personal, so it's all to do with abuse, mind you. So, or spam, I definitely didn't. Um, but I'm gonna go through every like my whole review one way. Review my review is absurd. That sounds abusive language, including swearing. All right, that one we're gonna try and remember here. Um, no backseat moderating, repeated offenders of the above. Rules and guidelines will be banned from Steam community. Alright, so threats of violence or harassment, even as a joke. Alright, so we'll keep that one in mind as well. Porn, inappropriate or offensive content, wares or leaked content, or anything not safe for work. Alright, so I'd say those three kind of things are the. Um, yeah, the, the three sort of things that would like, you know, what is it, raffling, selling, up. Mm, that wouldn't, that wouldn't quite count for that. All right, yeah, so that'd, that'd be the three things that we'd look for. So that's threats of violence or harassment, um, offensive content, 
or abusive language. Just keep that in mind. As you would have seen before, you usually saw the flag up here. Um, do I have a cursor on here? So you generally see the flag up here, so that's clearly been taken out. <laughs> one upvote, one review. It does have a develop common. And um, so we're just going to click on this and we're going to check it. All right, so <clears throat> I'll even read the developer comment. So you can't even walk straight in this game. So that, that's something I'm going to talk about again later. I've actually got something quite extensive to talk about there because that um, was ultimately a part of the reason why I got a refund for the game. And, you know, if, if you're going to really report people for refunding the game, then <laughs> that's not, yeah, that's not going to work out too good for you, buddy. I mean, this is a whole month after after the report, you know, like after the review that I put up, it was a whole month because that was the 2nd of November that I did it. He, he wrote it on the day, you know, said post the 2nd of November. He, he left the um, comment and like later to that day. So that, you, wouldn't you do it like way sooner than when you just get the refund done? Yeah, I've got the um, first impressions video link um i will provide the link in the description so you can all look through that lens yourself there's going to be quite a few points that i'm going to use in that to point out my review you know i didn't complete the game as you can see with eight hours so that's one of the points of contention that dev had which is completely understandable but i'm reviewing it from what i played of the game i mean I, it was so unfunctional that i couldn't even complete the game which is or the part of the game that I got to, I, I couldn't progress literally because it was dysfunctional. That's why I left a bad review, right? That's why I saved the refund because it was straight up a dysfunctional game. So the models look like Unity bought asset. So I could understand here, right? If that wasn't an implication or an assumption that I'm clearly showing that I don't actually have proof that or I'm stating for a fact that it is for Unity Access, but I'm actually just stating it looks like, right? And I am stating that I noticed it is a Unity game, without a doubt. I mean, when it launched, it had the Unity icon. I can't remember if the actual icon for the game was the Unity thing, but, you know, it was. So I did make a comment on that and how the models were inconsistent size, which really, to me, was like, you know, what is the, like, is this supposed to play into the horror? Because it doesn't seem like it is, you know? It, it just seems like it's randomly, for no apparent reason, just everything's out of size, you know? Everything's inconsistent to one another. There's no artistic cohesion with these sort of objects and items that are placing into this 3D realm, right? This 3D play space. It just seems like they, they just kind of slapped in there for the sake of just putting them there, you know? Which, which is why it's weird when I come across a, a chair that's bigger than a fucking cupboard. Like, you would never see that in real life. And that draws away from the horror. Genuinely draws away the horror from me. And to be fair for the dev here for a moment, I did actually enjoy a couple of things from the game. Like how the um, protagonist breathes heavily and, um, you know, you, you get like spooky things said to you as you hunt down the items that would sometimes just disappear and end up somewhere else and stuff like that. There were a couple good things to draw away from the game and I was hoping that would be good, which is why I actually played the game and gave it some sort of uh, pub publicity with my video, which is the whole point I was doing with first impressions in the first place. But, um, <clears throat> you know, it, as I say here, it's odd that no one acts annoyed when you as a woman play only seems to act annoyed when there's an abnormally large toilet. Yeah, the toilet was like way over double the size at that point out. No one spooked at the chair that it's the same size as a closet. Yeah. Also, there's only three rooms. Enjoy. Now, I point that out because... Well, can this be edited? This comment? Hi, right, sorry for the bad experience you were having with the game. Sounds sincere, but you never know with these sort of things, do you? There are actually two parts to the game. The prologue is just a linear-based story which consists of being trapped in a recurring apartment unit. 
that you play as a character, you will search for in the main gameplay. There you play as a character you search for in the main. Am I going to be searching for the character? What? Anyway, the character herself is that of a child, hence why the object seemed taller than you. I wasn't complaining that the object seemed taller than me, apart from the toilet, to be fair, because the cupboard was smaller than the chair, which is inconsistent to my character size. I originally thought maybe it's just my character that's small, but then considering a chair's bigger than a cupboard, that's inconsistent between the objects, not between me, right? Which it would make sense if it was all just inconsistent in comparison to my size. It, referring to the character in the game, right? But anyway, when you've completed a prologue, this unlocks the main game, which takes place in a much larger environment. I think that must have been edited, because he actually pointed out that there's not three areas, three rooms, but four. And I was thinking that he'd probably flag me, just because, oh, whoop de doo there's, there's four rooms instead of three, because, you know, that's quite a small point, but, you know, I'm not going to harp on about that. I would, I was actually planning to here, but since it looks like it was, maybe it was in one of my YouTube comments. But anyway. Um, so, I can't, it must be that even, he, he must feel like, um, from, from what I'm looking at here, because they were all based to the, um, the assets, right? So it seems like he's probably annoyed that, um, he, I, it looks like I'm accusing him of having a, um, a asset flipper, you know, which, um, is a, as you should know by now on Steam games, is a really negative um, reputation to have. <laughs> like, as soon as you got it, your game is pretty much fucking dead, right? It, but, I don't know, it could be a multiple other things. So, um, as you know, the review was, um, sorry, the, the flag for the review was taken down, and so that clearly states that well, I didn't violate any rules. So, he really just attacked me there as, um, although I don't know if he actually thought for, for whatever reason that that would, or she, or she to be fair, that that would actually be a, um, justified, uh, report that it would actually go through. Lord knows why he would think it goes through, but it just seems really counterproductive to kind of just, you know, shoot your foot. And, um, it did actually keep me up a bit at night, as I said, thinking of how I would do this video, because the sound of a gun going off and hitting your own foot, it, it spooks me a bit, you know? Now, it, it seems kind of weird, um, counterproductive, um, <clears throat> time-wasting and pointless to kind of just do that, but, you know, if that's what you want to do. Now, I do have another review here that I want to check out real quick, because um, I think it has a little insight into this, a little more insight anyway. So hang on. Here yeah, that has 25 upvotes and um, got way more traction, right? And now, in this, I was actually way harsher than I was in the other review, right? So, you know, in, in, with stuff like comments like this very first one, in this game, you are an engineer who's tasked with repairing this game. So I thought comments like that would have been really harsh. I mean, taking that as a game, like when you, you're you um, the developer and you hear sort of stuff like that, you know, like a, a person playing a game and finding it so bad that they just genuinely laugh at your, your work that you've worked multiple years on to produce, right? And someone just points and laughs at your efforts at your failed attempt, you would think that would be kind of like soul crushing or something, right? But after all the sort of stuff that I pointed out and with my video provided, the developer says, thanks for your review, which straight up to me, I still don't understand why they would thank me for such a, um, <laughs> a, a, a fucking a comment like that. But anyway, 
you encountered a lot of critical bugs and glitches, so I understand the bad review. Which, you know, a lot of people do that sort of thing, where they're like, I, I understand the bad review, but please, um, you know, look at it again or something. So that seems kind of insincere sometimes, but, you know. Finally, I released a patch that fixes most of the problems. Now that's the bit that changes everything, doesn't it? I hope it will make the game much better for you. Now sadly, he posted this after I had already seeked a refund on account of, you know, being lost in the game of where to go, what to do, and um, the game just, you know, completely falling apart on me with all these bugs, right? But after hearing that, I was kind of intrigued at what he improved, you know, because that, that seems quite genuine to me, that, like, I point this out now, because this is a point that I want to address to the developer, if he actually decides to watch this, I don't know if he does or doesn't, or, or she, I, no, I keep doing that problem, they, I should say, um, the developer decides to watch this, this is how you should respond, not so much that you need to thank every review, positive or negative, right, but you need to kind of try and be constructive with these sort of things, you know, like he does. He he notices that there's a bunch of glitches that that, that I didn't like, and so he he worked on it. He fixed it to make the game better, right? And then he's like, I hope you enjoy it now that the bugs are fixed, which is the right way of going about negative feedback. You look for problems to, to fix and go out, especially when you're a small company and you're trying to get a name for yourself that's the most important time to kind of be productive with your feedback. You really rely on feedback strongly when you're in these sort of, um, when, when you're in the line of business, right? Like with a, a company or whatever. So if you're incapable of looking at negative feedback, regardless of how um, harsh or, you know, polite it is, you know, whether you kind of like, I don't like this game because, you know, the, it had um, this one bug, or if you're like, fuck this game, it has so many bugs, it's such a useless piece of shit, right? It doesn't matter, you've still got to look at it the same way, right? You, you look at what was that problem with it, and how can I fix it, right? How can I go about fixing it, if possible? If you can't, then the next best thing to do is just brush it off, you know? Or you could try and laugh it off, right? That's, that's your other two options. And just about anything else really is is just counterproductive and a waste of time. It's, it's only going to hinder your own um, reputation as a company, as a business. So that that's that's what I hope you were able to take away from this video if you decide to watch this. I don't really know if you do um, or not, but... Hmm. Alright, so I'm recording this after I actually recorded um, the first one, so I don't know where I'm going to slot this in. But the reason why I said you can't even walk straight, and I said that might be um, no word specific, I don't know if I said that exactly. But the reason why I said I got a refund for this, and the reason why I said that, is because near the end of the video, I mean the first part of the video, I, I was just trying to organise the controls, because I would always be walking backwards, right? Even if I was standing still, even if I fiddled with all the controls, I checked out the options, I even tried restarting the game at one point, I would still always be walking backwards. And while I thought, well, I can still walk forward, left and right and all that, as long as I persist, like hold down the control for it, so I could play through some of the game. But at a certain point, near the end of the um, video, you could see that I tried multiple times through a spot where you had to crouch and stealthy way through. And if you touched any objects, you would be insta-killed, and it required extreme precision movement, so any time that I'd need to stop or go slow moving, I would still be moving backwards, and it would shake up my character, and my character would slightly move to the right or the left, because of where I'd position my character, right, whatever way they're facing, I would be moving backwards from that, so we you kind of have them walking in a circle, essentially, and there was no way, because I couldn't just push forward constantly, just when it wouldn't let me walk that way or it was just too many objects I would just my character would clang with and I'd be insta killed so I was literally blocked into it so I had to refund the game because that that's one of the reasons that you can give for when you refund the game is simply you know 
a dysfunctional game when you can't com when you find something that you're stuck with that you can't pass through in the game because of the functionality of the game as i stated before so just yeah the thing about reporting is just because something comes off as offensive doesn't constitute as it being an offense right so that that goes with law that goes with steam that goes with a lot of things right so just because you're annoyed at something happening doesn't mean you can outright attack someone for it that's that's essentially what this is that's how i view it anyway right because this is my review this is this is something that i'm passionate about i'm someone who played the product i got the product i tested it i played it i had a thought about it i left my opinion that's what my review is right someone of the community someone small i have a loan I have a small voice in others, sure, but I still do have a voice, just like anyone else in this world. And that's why I'm making this video, because I hope, I'm not saying that you are, and I really hope you're not trying to stomp out my voice by doing something like this, get my review taken away, even though that would be absurd, thinking that, like, just because you flag something on Steam, that you could have it taken away, right? Because Steam actually goes through that sort of stuff, just like I did just then, and I, I in the previous video, which I'll link everything in the description, of course, a lot of stuff will probably be linked, and, um, you know, nothing seemed to violate terms of service, so Steam com coming from a um, neutral ground, obviously with this one, I'm, it, it's, I've got a clear buy for you this moment, I from you, unlike last time, but it doesn't like violate any terms of service so steam can't do anything even if they did have a emotional impact like you may have from this they unless it violates their own terms of service they can't really do anything can they so don't go out attacking random people's views uh reviews it is not a good look for you Hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget at 50 subs, there's a giveaway for Suicide Guy, which was a game that I also reviewed and I gave a positive review for it. I thought it was quite good. Full disclosure, it's because I know the developer and he said that it'll give me a um Steam code for a uh, key for it, so it will be a Steam version. Um, you got to be a visible subscriber for me for you to be in the running for me to be able to contact you and. <laughs> you know, know you and all that sort of stuff. So um if you if you wanna do that, um be a visual subscriber. Uh good luck winning. You know. <laughs> you like the game as much as I do.